Today here on Blue Shift Ministries, I want to talk about spiritual biohazardism. There is a such thing as being a walking spiritual biohazard. This usually happens when you travel much. This usually happens when you take medications. This usually happens when you're in an atmosphere that is polluted with spiritual pollution, such as a club, the street, individuals who are completely toxic. Their, their demons will latch on to you. Some of them call them spiritual attachments. Some of them call them, um, it, it really depends from which ethnicity you are from, but there are many different names and many different flavors to them, but it is the same source of evil. The spiritual biohazards that happen are always, always, always happens when you're in that moment of ignorance and weakness. You're at a bar, you're having a drink, you get drunk. You're with friends, you're getting high, you're high, you're unconscious. You're not aware of your surroundings. You have to be extremely mindful of your surroundings. You have to be extremely mindful of who and where you are. Especially if there's an environment that is also, you can also pick the, these things up if the atmosphere is polluted with flies, garbage, there's a lack of sanitation. People who work in the sanitation departments, they must be loaded with spiritual biohazards. They really have to take care of themselves. If you're someone that works in a sanitational unit, if, it, if you know anyone that works in a sanitation, please share this video with them. They need to know this. Because that garbage that they picked up, the even even if it's outside, um, oh boy, you just don't know who the owner was and if there's a history. Because people throw everything down there. If you know anyone who works in a sewer, absolutely share this video with them because they more than likely will pick up everything because people throw everything down the sewer. And I do mean everything. People are no damn good. So many times when... I, I don't mean to have an opinion here. Father, I repent for speaking through my flesh on that, but... People, you have to understand that when you throw certain things down, I mean, there has to be a level of consciousness here, a level of discipline, self -discipline. People just have no self-discipline. I think I'll do another video on that. You must say prayers, bloodline cleansing. Let's say a prayer right now. In the name of the blood of Jesus Christ, Son of David, I bind all spiritual attachments upon everyone watching this video. I bind all the demons. Father, I ask you to send your great power and the Holy Spirit to clear their minds, clear their bodies, clear their souls. For they need a cleansing, Father. May you cleanse them. Son of David, Son of David, Son of David, may you cleanse them. Please see the bloodline cleansing videos down below and be cleansed with the Holy Spirit. Remember who you serve. We serve a God who never dies and always rises from the kingdom of the Most High. We must fast, repent. Always be obedient and bloodline cleanse. Believe in Jesus always. Amen.